square plus minus 4 a c minus the formula you use then by 2 a so a is equal to 1 a you are writing 2 and so on so rho is equal to this and now we will write that if I write this one is plus like I write the value plus for rho then it will be half and 1 plus 2L plus 1 and this will be equal to 2L plus 2 and you take 2 as common it will be cancelled and you will get L plus 1 similarly rho minus will be half and 1 minus 2L minus 1 and it will be equal to minus L so you got the two parts the two values of rho, rho plus and rho minus. So I can write now that u is the solution of this equation and u r to the power rho. So I will write that now the solution of the equation u of r, this is equal to a times r to the power rho plus and plus b times r to the power rho minus got it look here this u is the solution of this differential equation okay understand this one this is a differential equation the solution of this equation will be u of r or u will be the solution of this u is we suppose that it is equal to r to the power rho now we got the value of rho that rho is this is a second order differential equation so rho got two values one value is plus and the other value is minus so rho i will write the solution of this equation then i will write a times a is a constant a times r rho plus plus b times r rho minus this will be the solution and i wrote it like this and now put the values of rho plus and rho minus so u of r is equal to a r to the power l plus 1 plus b r to the power minus l Clear? Sir, why do we have suppose R raised to power rho in particular? Can't we suppose anything else? Now, you know about the power series law. What you do in power series? You suppose x to the power n. And then its first derivative, its second derivative, you put in the equation. And that is the solution of it. So, this is the power series law we have utilized r to the power rho or we can have x to the power n which is the power so series law. Uh, yes, yes. Any you can say some people use in mathematical methods of physics you would have studied r to the power a sometime a to the power something. It depends. So here I suppose r to the power uh, r to the power rho and there is nothing wrong mathematically. I solved what is rho equal to so it turns out in terms of my constant i selected my constant intelligently why i selected not l square but l at 12 plus 1 because this is very easy to split them it's a constant it's a constant i don't know what is l but i know it's a constant and then it easily split it you see it is easily split it and we got our solution like this one and now you know that we have selected early that the component of phi the big phi which was r theta and phi we know in that one that the component of phi which was only r dependent it was equal to u by r you remember 
It was U by R, not U. U by R was actually the potential. So I can write that U by R, now this will be your potential. So it will be equal A R. Then L plus 1 L1, R L minus 1, so it will become R to the power L plus B and R to the power minus L and 1 R down it will become also minus L minus 1. Right? So I can write this is R L and this is minus L plus 1. Clear? Sir? Why do that to do by that instead of you? Because these are mathematical tricks. When you write this one is U, then that R will tease you. So we selected that U by R is our potential. And then when you will uh, do that one step in here, that U are coming from D over DR, R, D by DR, and then your phi. Then that derivative you can easily convert in this one. So these are mathematical tactics. There is nothing wrong mathematically, but these are the tactics. Is this was one of the tactics? If we select it as alpha, like here, then you will get the roots of rho, and it will be plus minus alpha. So what? It is very really hard to split. But if you select as L into L plus 1, then it is easy to write this one. Mean the selection of the other is P and Q when this one is U by R is due to the reason to fit our equation here. Otherwise, this will make a problem for us if we select only U there. So this is our solution. We have solved the radial part. But the solution is not yet perfect because we don't know what is L. Unless and until you know what is L, you haven't solved the equation. So we now go to the next part. And the next part was that we selected this thing equal to alpha square. And alpha square was equal to L in L plus 1 then it means that this portion will be equal to minus L into L plus 1. Then the summation will be equal to 0. So I can write that 1 over sine theta. Okay. If I write this one, 1 over P, 1, now the theta component. The theta component is 1 over P sine of theta and D by D theta sine of theta DP by D theta and minus M square over sine square theta. This whole thing will be equal. This will be equal to this. And I can rearrange this one by multiplying by P and breaking this one inside. So I can write 1 over sine theta d by d theta sine of theta dp by d theta and plus f into l plus 1 minus m squared by sine square theta and this whole I multiply with P and equal to zero. Can I write like this? Look here. You multiply by P, so it will be 1 over sine theta, this one is done. P will be multiplied with this, P will be multiplied with this. When this will come here, it will become plus, so it is plus here and P is multiplied with it. This is minus and P is multiplied with it. Clear? So we just reshuffled this equation. 
And now you will see another mathematical tactic that how we will be able to uh, reduce or make this equation into a simpler form. Let's say I write that x is equal to cos theta. You know x is equal to r cos theta. If I take r equal to 1 here, so I can define x equal to cos theta and then I can write that d by d theta. Can I write the chain rule in dx over d theta and d over dx? Can I write d by d theta like this? Because these are simplified in d by d theta. Now for dx over d theta, I can write minus sine theta d by dx. Clear? So then I can write if I multiply this with sine theta. If I multiply this with sine theta, this will become sine theta d by d theta. And the other sign will become minus sine square theta and d by dx. Now I can write minus sine square theta, I can write 1 minus cos square theta. So 1 minus cos square theta and d by dx. And then I can write this one minus 1 minus x square d by dx. Can I write like this? Because cos theta is equal to x. So what I did? I converted sine theta d by d theta into x. Clear? So I can now write that for this one, what I can write? I converted sine theta d theta by d by d theta equal to that one. d by d theta means sine theta will come in and d by d theta if I write this one so I will replace this thing. You look here. I found this one which is sine theta d by d theta. So for this I can write that minus 1 minus x square d by dx. And then there is another, this one. So d by d theta here, I will convert this one as well. How I can convert? If I divide by sine square theta, then it will become 1 over sine theta d by d theta. And this will also be divided by sine square theta. Clear? So I can write, I can write that sine square I can write 1 minus cos square. And then 1 minus x square is actually that thing which will cancel. So for 1 over sine theta d theta I am only having minus d by dx. Clear? You got this step or I do it? Okay. So I can write my this equation is when you will reshuffle the things then d over dx and 1 minus x square and dp over dx plus l into l plus 1 minus m square and to divide by 1 minus x square because this one is sine square theta sine square theta I can write 1 minus cos square theta 1 minus cos square I can write 1 minus x square and multiply it with p and this is equal to 0 so I change the shape of the equation Look here, for the first term, I wrote minus d by dx. That minus is adjusted where? 
minus this one minus this one. One over sine theta. One minus cos squared. Okay, the minus is adjusted. Yes, it is adjusted here. Because from this one, one minus will come in. From all this, it will be one minus one minus six squared d by dx. And this one will be minus d by dx. So minus minus will become plus. And this is plus d by dx and one minus six squared d by dx and so on. Now I will have to solve this equation. And this equation is yet very hard to solve. Because here is m and here is l. Both are unknown. So if I will say that if the potential that I am solving potential is is mutually symmetric, what is meant by is mutually symmetric? means phi is constant as you go over the azimuthal angle right if phi will be constant it will not be depending on m i will say for the azimuthally symmetric i can write m is equal to zero means there is no phi dependence because m is actually our one over q d square q by d phi square so if my potential will be as mutually symmetric, means on all the azimuthal angle it will remain the same. The circle I plotted, if on all the points of the circle, given circle, it is same, then I will say my potential is as mutually symmetric. Not this, not on the above circle of this one. 